Okay, so we're at RJ's gym in Abridge in Essex. I'm joined by Goodwin Boxing's latest signing, Eric Hutching. How are you doing, Eric? I'm doing awesome. How are you doing yourself? I'm fine, thank you. All right. Um, you've got two men either side of you, one to your left, one to your right. Obviously, on your left, you've got Rod Julian, coach, and on your right-hand side, new manager, Steve Goodwin. Um, obviously, just signed with Goodwin Boxing today, and then we've got a, a fight scheduled for you for the 12th of November. Can you tell us a little bit about the fight scheduled? Yeah, definitely. I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's going to be a good fight against Ryan Troms. And um, yeah, the heat was back in action. So obviously you've been away from the, the ring for a little while. Can you tell us obviously why you've been out of action, why people obviously, you know, you fought on matchroom shows before, you're, you're a big name in the sport. You know, wh what's the absence? Why have you been out of the ring for a little while? Yeah, I just need to take time and let the body recover, the mental side of it as well. So I feel fresh, I feel good. And I'm back with, with, with Rod and he's a great trainer and we're gonna, we're gonna see. We're gonna see great stuff. So you've already achieved you know, massive amounts in, in your boxing career already. A fantastic talent. Obviously, moving into a, a new weight category as well. Is this something that you always plan to do? It would you always plan to move up in weight? Or uh, definitely, I'm, I'm strong. I like middleweight. That's I got the power, and um, and that's what I need to be. So it's gonna be the strength conditioning and the nutrition that we need, and that's gonna help me take my game to the next level. So obviously, you, I say you've achieved so much. What do you think you can now still achieve, Eric, going forward in the, the next in, in the next phase of your career? Um, there's a lot to achieve. Um, sky's not the limit. What I can achieve, having the right team, you know, behind you is very important. And as I go, Rod and of course Steve Goodwin, you know, promoting me and you know supporting me. I got good people around me, and of course, um, you know, good friends to support me and push me forward. So. There's no limit of what I can achieve. I still got more, more in store to offer. So, Steve, obviously an, another marquee signing for Goodwin Boxing. Eric, a fantastic fighter. You know, what is the, the plan for Eric over the next sort of 12 to 18 months? Well, he's, a, he's an exceptional talent and not a past talent. But he's somebody that, if you look at the fight with Liam Smith, he was very, very competitive for a long period of that fight until the conditioning probably wasn't there in the latter part but if you look at the early part of the fight it showed you that he was able to compete very competitively to say the least at British title level um, he's then carried on fighting at a weight that's really below where he should have been uh, weight draining down but back at light middleweight there is no reason why he can't be put into the British title picture in 2017 and is that your plan for him? Obviously, uh, obviously the first one back in, in November we talked about, is it a case then that we're just going on the hunt for titles, Ferric? Yeah, so whether it be, you know, we, we don't mind regrouping um, Southern Area level and working up from there. The, the point is it's about doing it the right way, the solid way, and then ending up where we want to be. There's no reason, you know, if the Southern Area's there, and it's, we, we'll take that en route. If not, we'll go up to the English. Um, and, if, and we'll work for the British that way. It's just purely about the, the right route at the right time and picking the titles off as we go. Eric, Steve mentioned it there about obviously weight draining your foot on the fights. Is that a problem you suffer with before if people are watching you for the first time? Is it, you know, at, at welterweight, did you, you struggle to make the world weight limit? Yeah, without a doubt. Um, at welterweight, I was draining myself to make the weight. So most of the fight, I lost on the scale. And um, so this time around, we're going to make sure none of that takes place because um we've got the na we've got we've got the nutritionist um we're going to be working with and we've got the right training strength and condition and so we're we're not going to lack on that department and of course that did play a big part in um, my performance and so um we are we're getting that sort of so, Rod, Eric mentioned there, obviously, sometimes fights are won and lost on the scales. For you as the, the coach of Eric and now going forward in, in his next part of his career, what difference and changes do you have to make now Eric's moving into a new weight category, stepping up a weight category? Not too much, really. I mean, um, Eric, Eric is more of a natural sort of light middleweight. It just means giving him the right fuel uh, and, and the right recovery, fluids, uh, carbohydrates, protein, diet plans, um, everything's got to be correct for him because when he come down to, to welterweight, he was very drained, not doing it the correct way, wasn't sure what he was intaking every day, fluid wise, uh, food wise, wasn't sure. Um, and, and to be at that level and to not know that or to do that is it, it is not good, you know what I mean? Especially that's the difference that, that, that now, when he goes to like middleweight, he's going to be so strong, it's going to be ridiculous. 
And I think um, with, the, with the right nutrition, um, the, the right diet, the right strength and conditioning, which he's going to have, we'll take him to the next level 100%. I know you've got some, I don't know if you're allowed to say, I know you've got some big sparring lined up for, for Eric over the next couple of weeks. Is this something you can talk about, Rod, or is it something that's kept secret? Um, yeah, we're literally, we're, we're flying out um, in, in a couple of weeks with some of the team um, to, uh, to to have a chat with Mr. Kelbrook and um, do some training with the guys over there. So that's that's fine, uh, which is which is a pleasure and um, such a learning curve and experience, you know. Um, obviously, Kel's over there now. Everybody knows, um, and he's preparing for the GGG fight. So just just to be just to go over there and gain some experience for the fighters. And, um, and to work with, with the top guys in the country will be amazing, do you know what I mean? Eric, looking, looking back on past performances and, and obviously the career you've had so far, what adjustments do you think you're going to make going forward? Obviously, apart from stuff the way, is there anything that you've looked back at your performances and think, I need to change this and what you're working? Now, I don't want you to give away any secrets, of course, but is there certain things you feel yourself you have to work on? Yeah, definitely. There's, there's a number of things that we, we spoke about um, with Coach and, yeah, it's going to be a lot of changes. Um, it's gonna be not a lot, small changes that make a lot of difference. Yeah. And um, yeah, people are gonna see the they are gonna see the new ego, if you please. So Steve, I mean, you, you know, for Goodwin Boxing over the last you know, few years, is has grown fantastically. You know, and Eric is just another marquee fighter for you as the, the manager and obviously the head of Goodwin Boxing. How proud are you to welcome someone as talented as Eric to the stable? Well, it's great that Eric feels that we are the people to help guide him. Um, it's. It's a great uh, honour for all of us um, that work behind the scenes, yourself, Josh, Livia, the <coughs> fighters like Eric are now coming to us and asking us to help, you know, I wouldn't say rebuild as such, it's just sort of reignite his career. Um, but, you know, we've been able to do this with, other, with fighters over the last 12 months and fighters are seeing what we've been achieving with, with, with fighters, how many champions we've now produced. So I think, you know, it's just a great testament to everybody that that works at our, of our team that people are coming to us. And thanks to Rod also for supporting us because he's been a great supporter of ours. And Eric, I'm gonna ask the natural question to come on for you. What made you pick Steve Goodwin and Goodwin Boxing as person to guide your career at this stage in your career? What drew you to, to, to Goodwin Boxing? I mean, if you look around, Eddie and you got Frank Warren, and beside those two, you know, big promoter, the next upcoming promoter is Steve Goodwin. You know, he's a son of good fighters. And um, yeah, he, he's the man. He's the man um, that I think he's got, he's got what it takes to get the work done and um, to take me where I want to go. The first thing you need to do is take him to the suit shop because you're looking very, very <laughs> sharp. Right? Yeah, we, 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 we're going to sort that. We're looking bit casual, Steve. He's come dressed for yeah. the occasion, you know what I mean? What size are you? <laughs> Listen, I'm losing weight, right? I'm yeah. waiting to get into a new... I've done, I've done 20 pounds now, right, in six yeah. weeks. So I've got to lose another stone then. Then I'm going to get a whole load of new suits. Oh, that's great. You're on we'll track. There. You're when, on when, when your next fight, I'm going to be so dapper. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I can't wait to see you, man. <laughs> all right, gentlemen, look. Eric, if people want to get a hold of you, people want to follow the career. Obviously, you've got a good fan base, and everyone knows you. But if people want to follow the, you know, follow the the movement that is Eric Oching, how do they get in contact with you? Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? How do they follow your your path? Yeah, people can check me out at ericthegoal.com. I'm Eric the Eagle, and on Twitter, Eric the Eagle. I'm um, Facebook, Eric the Eagle Oching, um, Instagram, Eric the Eagle. So, hey. The Eagles landed. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, welcome to the team. We look forward to November. It's going to be a great night and we can't wait to see you back in action. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate it.